Want to boost your speaker's sound by 5 decibels without needing a more powerful amplifier? In this video, I'll show you how adding a magnet to a tweeter can increase its output, and we'll also explore how it affects sound distortion. It's a quick, easy experiment you can try yourself. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Before you continue watching, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Your feedback helps us create better videos. Many types of speakers use dual magnets. Woofers, mid-ranges, and even tweeters sometimes have an extra magnet mounted on the back. You might ask, what's the purpose of adding an extra magnet? In this video, we'll explore some interesting aspects of that idea. At first glance, it might seem that this just increases the magnetic strength. But the key point is whether the added magnet's polarity matches the original magnet's magnetic direction. If they align correctly, the total magnetic field in the gap may increase, potentially boosting the tweeter's output. Start by measuring the sound pressure of the tweeter without the additional magnet. This is a near-field measurement, but we'll also need a far-field measurement to get more reliable results. This is my DIY measurement microphone. If you'd like to build one yourself, check out these videos. Here is the result. Next, we should measure distortion at a specific frequency, for example, at 2000 Hz, and record that as a reference for future comparisons. Now add the neodymium magnet. There are many types of neodymium magnets, and you can try different ones with your drivers. But in my experience, the biggest improvement in sound pressure usually happens with drivers that have weaker magnets. For example, small tweeters with ferrite magnets. After placing the neodymium magnets, check whether they repel each other, like this. Surprisingly, in this setup, the added magnets actually reduce the sound pressure. The reason is that their magnetic field is not aligned with the main magnet, so they end up weakening the total magnetic field in the voice coil gap. Now rotate all the neodymium magnets and try again. Wow, this time, the sound pressure increases. Let's now compare the distortion between the original and the boosted sound pressure. The result shows that distortion increases when the magnetic field is reinforced. However, the ratio of distortion to the main signal doesn't change significantly. If the motor had been better designed from the start, adding extra magnetic force likely wouldn't have noticeably affected the harmonic distortion. At higher sound levels, this setup may produce more distortion because the moving parts can exceed their design displacement range. Now it's time to do far-field measurements. The microphone is placed 50 centimeters away from the driver. Adding magnets doesn't significantly change the geometry or distance so the results will be more reliable. As you can see, the extra magnets boost the sound pressure, and this can be a useful method to amplify the output without needing a more powerful amplifier. The sound pressure increased by about five decibels. Try it yourself with a small driver and let me know your results in the comments below. Thanks for watching. 